Hey folks, Kisaki here. I want to welcome you to my channel. I hope you enjoy my videos. I hope you subscribe and follow me. I want to present you a new way of ninja do, a new way of martial arts of the 21st century. With these old ideas of tradition and all the stuff of strict rules and passing teachings on over generations, all this stuff, leaving this behind and making us a new art combined of the most efficient and most popular techniques and yeah, just just progressing, you know what I mean? Everything is progressing. Traditional martial arts were founded in environments in encapsulated regions. Today we live in a globalized world. So there's nothing like yeah like a regional style. All people are interacting, everybody's passing on his ideas to everybody else. So you need to be open to new things. And people want don't want to learn the traditional methods they want to learn, the things that they think they are cool or whatever. They are amazing and they, are, they make sense to them, you know. Today it's not that reasonable anymore that somebody attacks you with a mace or a spear. It's more a knife or a handgun. And so we need to apply our techniques and we need to progress. And also, yeah, what I, should I say? The weapon techniques are globalized. It's not the way that in Philippi, Philippine countries they are only acting with machetes and so you do a screamer and you are fine. That's not, the, that's not the case. That's not how our world works. Sorry guys, I went a little off topic discussing about the traditional martial arts and their evolution or the, how they fit into the modern times. I just want to come back to the content of my channel. I will present you tutorials on what, in my opinion, makes up the way of a modern day ninja warrior, of how I see a modern ninja do, but my, my ninja do, Kisaki's ninja do. And that will consist mainly in techniques from parkour free running and stand up martial arts like taekwondo, kung fu. Ninjutsu, so about kicks and martial arts tricking also, more advanced tricks also. And I will show you techniques with weapons, that's very important. That makes a difference for me from free running and tricking. Or also, I mean, okay, there is kicks and way, but we are, we are thinking about applying these techniques into real life and not just putting them on stage and also the moves I show will be performed with real weapons, with sharp swords, with yeah, with tippy spears and what whatsoever. So with real weapons and no no fake weapons. So I will show you tutorials on weapon techniques. And later on, if I get some more people involved, I would like to show you also throws and bars and all the stuff from jiu-jitsu and grappling techniques that I think you should be able to perform at least some basics. You, I think you should. You, it's not necessary to be the best grappler in the world, so to say, when you do it in jitsu, because it's about stealth, it's about being quick, if it's about using weapons and all this stuff. So if you go onto the ground into a grappling fight, you did something wrong already, that's for sure. But of course, knowing some techniques can help you out. So we will have a look at this also. And then there will be some more off-topic stuff where we discuss about weapons, about equipment, about armor. I don't talk about this traditional stuff, I talk about modern day weapons with the counter handles, G10 handlebars, modern swords made from spotted steel, yeah, all this stuff, not Tamana. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's a great, great sword, of course, the traditional weapons, great. But perhaps modern day Steel can do the same, or is perhaps even better. We need to think, we need to keep our eyes open. And we will also pass, discuss about armor, I think especially about Kevlar vests and wear protections that are worn in, in motorcycle races and this stuff. 
we will see how it can help, how it can improve our skills if we do parkour on the outside, on, on the street we need some kind of protection, we can't do this in a t-shirt just jumping from 3 meters and do, do a ninja roll how is your shoulder looking then? but if you wear some kind of protection, it's fine, you can do that and I will also discuss with you about the virtues of the warrior, about Budo what it means in our daily life in the 21st century how we can imply the ninja way of lifestyle into our daily life these will be very important topics and I will also discuss about you the, of the picture the ninja represents in the media like modern movies, you know, all Wolverine, Way of the Warrior we see the ninjas, we know ninja assassin, all these movies I would like to discuss with you about that and see, give some recommendations on movies I like and uh, also in other medias and books and whatever in the internet and yeah, I hope you stay tuned, I hope you subscribe to my channel I hope you give me a thumb up and yeah, stay awake and always one step ahead thanks for watching I just noticed that I forgot some important topic we will also discuss about nutrition and supplements and about physical conditioning, about fitness training, about how we can forge our body onto the next level and yeah, how relevant these, these points are, what modern training plans can give us an information, how we make up a personal training plan for ourselves, an exercise plan that is leading to our goals, you know what I mean? And they are not just building muscle, they are being the, so to say, perfect warrior, if possible. Of course, this is a complicated topic, and I will also make a lot of videos on that, I think. Um, I will show exercises, exercise routines I did in the last 10 years, and I hope you will enjoy these videos as well, and share your experiences with me. Thanks.